welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to build your uh, FOSS shape wig base for your non-traditional wig project. So before we get into that, I just want to kind of briefly cover the materials that you'll be needing um, from your home kit or your personal supplies to complete this project. So first thing obviously you will need is your head form. The second thing is going to be your wig clamp, which you may or may not need for the project. You may decide you want to just kind of hold the head, but in case, have the wig clamp handy. You will also need your FOSS shaped fabric, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about in just a second. Um, you will need your quilter's pins, a marker to write with, some plastic wrap, some uh, sewing thread, and your curved needle. Okay. So make sure you have all those supplies handy before you get started with the project. Uh, one of the things that I think is really important to understand about um, the FOSS shape material is that it's meant specifically for non-traditional wigs, and I'll explain why. When we are doing uh, working with traditional wigs, which is kind of exactly what you think a wig would be when you, when you think of what a wig is, you are sewing in uh, weft hair, right, weft hair, into a wig base that is made of lace or net. And so that lace or net allows the wig base to stretch and fit over your head. However, when we're doing a non-traditional wig, we are not working with weft hair. Instead, you're working with non-traditional materials like paper, yarn, um, could be anything under the sun. It's kind of up to your imagination. So because of that, we have to create a different type of wig base, and we do that using the FOSS shape material. So FOSS shape comes in a couple different weights. The larger the number, the tighter the weave on the FOSS shape. It generally feels like really strong felt. If I wanted to, I could really, really try to pull this apart, but it's difficult. Um, and it has a little bit of stretch built into it because it's a non-woven material. So, um, what you're going to do is follow along with the video tutorial. You're going to cut out pattern pieces from your FOSS shape material using your head form as a pattern guide. Uh, and then you're going to come back and visit with me at the end when you're done assembling it. Good luck.
your completed fascia wig base. Um, what you may notice after you have uh, completed sewing up your base is that there are some areas around the head base that aren't sitting, or I'm sorry, the wig base that aren't sitting flush to the head. And that can have a, be due to a number of things. You may not have um, stitched your pattern pieces right on top of the seam allowances. Um, the fabric, because it is a non-woven, can often stretch while you're working with it. So when that happens, it's not a big deal. You are going to want to get something that you can um, steam, apply wet steam to the um, uh, head base and the wig base, and then it will actually kind of um, shrink down to your head form. So you can use um, a conventional iron, you can use a hand steamer if you have that. Um, in a pinch, you can put your head form in your bathroom and turn on the shower and let the steam kind of come from that. Um, and because this is a non-woven material, that heat and that, that wet steam is going to cause the material to shrink down slightly to fit your head form a little bit better. You do want the fit to be snug to your head, okay? Because this is not going to be something that can stretch like a traditional wig base. Um, but then that's it, you're done with the project. So uh, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed this project. I really like teaching it. Uh, look out for other videos about how to apply your non-traditional materials. And uh, please, as always, email me if you have any questions, okay?